What is going on guys, welcome back to another tutorial on FL Studio. Now today I'm going over the very basics of the Fruity Reverb 2. Um, the very basics simply because that is all I know. Um, <laughs> I use the reverb um, a lot, pretty much every single time I'm on FL Studio I will use Fruity Reverb. Um, but like I say, said in my first tutorial, I'm not exactly the most well rounded person when it comes to any kind of music making I just do it for fun I don't like know anything about it really but let's get into it um so I've just basically got the crystal lead um using it again I love the sound um and just base a uh, very very simple two basic notes let's just listen to it without the reverb it already has a reverb of its own um but um it's still um you still hear the difference with uh, the reverb on so um go and insert your free reverb 2 um all right i'm going to try and break this down a bit all right basically um here is um wow okay i didn't know you could control it like that <laughs> let's just reset them anyways here is like a visual representation of the room um which is going to be like your your sound will be played in, so um, the um, the base the fir okay the first thing I'm going to cover is the size. Um, size does have a huge effect on it. If it's a tiny room, the reverb will bounce off very quickly and it will basically go away really quickly. So if you listen to that, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Not to the original sound. If you want to make it as big as possible. Again, with the reverb already on the crystal lead, it it doesn't sound like it makes a difference. But if you use, if you do that on a, an instrument which doesn't have a reverb already, actually, I should probably do that. Um, just use the default of Nexus. I don't like that sound. I really don't. can hear the echo, but if you lower it to... sorry about that. Has less. Alright. So, um... Next, what I'm going to cover is the differentiation. That's what I call it. It just says diff, so... <laughs> um, it, it basically um, changes how many walls are in it. Um, I think... Um, don't count me on this, but I think the more walls, the more reverb, if I'm right. But let's just test it. Yeah, well, I don't think that's exactly what it is, but that is kind of the general idea of it. Um, I don't know really what these do. I've tried changing them, but I, I never really heard a difference. Um, the delay um, is base. It's quite what you would think it is. Um, it's basically how long after the sound is played that the reverb um, comes into play. So now it's on like the bottom. So basically, as soon as the note hits, the reverb will start. But if you go like that, you can't. It's 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 a quite cool effect having the reverb um, come in later. But that is more. I feel that is more the job of using a delay. Um, but it, it still sounds cool. Um, obviously, if you like, put it in the middle, it will come out. Um, bass, again, I'm not entirely sure. Gross and damp, again, not really sure. Um, but the decay is basically how much reverb, how effective it is. And it makes this uh, a lot darker. So if it's a dark color, then there's a lot of, lot of decay. Um, to me, that kind of just is basically like the volume of the reverb. Um, I never really have it that high. The highest I'll have it is like there. Um, basically used for more atmospheric um, parts of a song. Uh, this knob down here is basically, um, again, it's more, uh, I feel it's more of like a volume because uh, down here it's 100 um, and over to the right is minus 100 and if it's minus 100 you don't really hear it. 
um, making it 100 makes it way too loud. Imagine that with full decay. Um, Alright, um, last but not least, the dry is um, the uh, original sound, so having it up here is basically what you want because um, w if, you, if you lower it, then like the original sound, you can't really hear it. So if you leave that up, you can hear the, like, the original sound. And um, ER, I'm sorry, I don't know really what that does. Um, and the wet is the reverb itself. So if you raise it up, the reverb will be really, really loud. If you lower it, then um, I guess the reverb will be really quiet. Yeah, it kind of goes away. So that is the basics of the free reverb. Um, luckily, they have presets, nice presets like uh, large hall is a good preset to have if uh, you want like an atmospheric thing. So, anyways, that is the basics of the free reverb two. You're probably better going somewhere else. I should have said that at the start, but um, hopefully, I made it kind of more simple than other tutorials because um, a lot of the other tutorials are kind of like music related like I think you know a lot about music already anyways hope you enjoyed take care peace